lords of our land. Hey! Wonder shall never end, though. Huh? Come, are you sure of what you're saying? Do I look like I came all the way from my town to joke around? Hey! Only Kani will kill herself. Hey! And enough of the screaming. Do you want her to overhear us? No, 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 but wait. Oh. Why did he do this now? Why now? Eh? All of a sudden. Nee, this is strange. My dear. Very strange. My dear, as I speak to you now, my people are asking him the same question. Huh? No one knows the reason behind his action. Hey! You serious? Are you not quite for job? This is bad. God forbid bad thing. This is strange. Very strange. I don't understand. How will you understand when he's not even offering an explanation? Exactly. I've never experienced such story, except I witnessed it today. And he's not even saying anything. I think the right question here is, what is wrong with him? Exactly. I mean, for him to have waited till today to do this, something must have come over him. And whatever it is... <laughs> May God have mercy. He is refusing to say. Jennifer Yakok, what do we call this? What kind of nonsense is this? Huh? I woke up this morning dressed in my best regalia, left my house to this place for this show of shame. Look at my I have never seen this kind of nonsense before. What about nonsense? Hey! I mean, how can Emiche take so such a decision? Without offering uh, some sort of uh, explanation. Eh? Do you look like this to him? And I don't want it. Ichi, this is the height of insolence. This is the height of insolence. His attitude is an affront on our personalities. He puts his fingers in our eyes. Oh, no, no, no. If my brother, his father, we are still alive. Huh? You know what I've stood for this? Hi. This is impudence of the highest order. Eh? Do you know how long we've been planning for this day? Eh? Hi. Hmm. The reason I am still sitting here is because his best friend, uh, uh, Obiago, said he will talk sense into him. Okay. Let's keep on waiting. I'm a boom. Let's keep on waiting. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Are you insane? I mean, you wish it. Are you out of your mind? You think that this is a decision you can just wake up one morning and take? Who does that? Please, please, and please, eh? Just explain, explain yourself to us now. How can you do this? Hey, hey, Gucci! Just explain yourself, tell us what is going on! No. I don't know. I don't know. Hey! No. What is the problem? Hmm? Talk to us. Or tell me, what is the problem? You know you can do this. You know it. Hmm? Ebuche. Ready. We have finished all the preparations and yet we are still waiting. Are we safe at all? Of course we're safe. Go back and tell the women to wait a little longer. The day has not ended yet. Okay. If you say so. If you say so. I say so. Okay. 
to Funife. Funife, calm down. You worry too much. You disturb yourself too much. See, see beside, if you worry like this, how will your sister feel? They will still be here. Something is not just right. I smell a rat. How far? Tell me how far is Umo Ezra from here? Relax. How far? Calm down. Today is not an ordinary day. They are not just coming here for a visit. They have to take their time and prepare. And moreover, the day is not over yet. So just exercise a little patience, my friend. Right. Yes. You will not understand. Both of you will not understand. Seriously asking me that stupid question? Huh? You are supposed to be marrying my sister, you bastard! And so? And so? So because you saw me with a young woman, eh? Automatically you are assuming the worst. Huh? I don't even know who she is. Very stupid. <laughs> Well, I guess that is her way of reminding you who she is. Uh, I don't care. Eh? I, don't, I don't care. I know you have always hated me. I know you have always hated me. In fact, I know you have always hated the idea that your sister and I are being together. Huh? See, if you like, picture anything. If you like, think anything, anything, whatever you want to think, think it. Assume whatever you want to assume. I do not care. Even if I do not care. Huh? And I have my own peace. Because I want to get married to your sister, eh? You will monitor me like monetary spirit. What, 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 what is that? That's the first way to get married. Is he trying to tell me that I didn't see what I saw? I must go there. If you don't tell me the problem you have with these earrings, I will start shouting for people to come and help me. Okay. Because you are losing it. Okay. Okay. I saw the man in your life walking out of the bush with the woman. That is my problem, the earring. What do you mean? What, what man are you talking about? Wait. Are you talking about my Eguche? Hmm. How many other men do you have in your life? Apart from him. I don't understand all this. Can you explain to me? I'm lost. Good. I saw a bush coming out of the bush. With a young woman laughing. They were both laughing like idiots. Hmm. And then arranging their clothes. And then I approached him. Do you know that this fool denied it before my face? He denied it. So I decided to go into the bush and see what was happening. Or what had happened. And this is what I found. Hey, wait, wait. Wait. So what you're trying to tell me is that 
you did not even catch them in the act. You only saw the earrings and then concluded on your own. As who? The most annoying part is that this lady slapped Igbuchi in front of me. She slapped him for trying to deny her. Which lady are you talking about? Wait, is it a tall black girl? Boom. Exactly. Hey! Ebuchi has always told me about how that young lady has been pushing him to get married to her. But he told her that he's practically married. But she wouldn't just listen. She's been pushing. And now, you saw them together. And these miserable earrings. And you jumped into conclusion that they were having something to do with each other. How stupid can you be? It is not like You that. have to stop. For some reasons only the gods can explain, you have always hated Ebuche for the very first time he set his foot into this compound. You never liked him. But I'll tell you, my brother, I love that man. I love him so much and whether you like it or not, I am going to get married to him. Oh yes, I will. Oh, you can. Listen, Ebuche is not being sincere with you. Abia. Look at Uchen now. A noble man from Nnewi. A merchant like me. <laughs> Why don't you give him a chance? Mm. Why don't you marry him? Yes! No more give him a call. No, no. I'll give him No sense. Let it not be that this Ebuchi has visited a medicine man on my sister's behalf. If all does not go well today, I will kill someone. Hmm? Yes, I will kill a butcher. <sighs> and it's not just a mere threat. Have to calm down. It's not just a threat. So, what are you people going to do now? Are you asking us what we are going to do? Uh -huh. Hey, what exactly are we supposed to do? Hmm? Tell us now. Tell her the truth, of course. Hey. Seriously. Uh -huh. So you want us to go and tell her friend what happened, Abby? <laughs> tell her the truth, of course. Hey. No, 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 wait. Oh. Hmm. Act now. Hey. Let me ask you. Mm. Madam, hey. if you are in Onyekane's shoes right now, how would you expect us to bring this kind of news to you? Hey, answer. answer me. No, 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 don't look answer away. Answer. No. <laughs> Ah, great one. Out of the sacred ground. A great one, I... I said, get out, you unclean woman. Great one, I, I don't understand what... You, I don't know what you're talking about. How dare you? How dare you enter into the sacred abode of the great Anukeni of Umeza now with the fluid of a man in you? That is not true, great one. I am still a virgin. I haven't slept with any man before. Do I look stupid to you? No. Now, leave. Great one. I say go. Great one, please. Do you know why they fear me in Umweza Nam and beyond? No, I don't. It is because I hate repeating myself. Look, woman. When I give an order, I expect it to be obeyed. When I repeat myself, terrible things happen. And I know 
You will not want that. Now, leave my compound, you unclean woman. And do not return until you get rid of your fealty. I mean every word I have said. Now leave. Okay, great one. I will tell you the truth. I will confess. Yes, I slept with a man. He was my first. I fell in love with him the very first time I set my eyes on him. I believed him. Until I met him, I have not been with any man. It doesn't start count. Great one. The mere fact that I gave my body to him because of the love that we have for each other. Does that not count? I can't be tagged as an unclean woman just because I gave my body to the man that I love. Please, great one. Are you married to him? I know. Then, you are unclean. Now leave my compound until you get yourself rid of that field. Go! And do not come back to me. I cannot continue to stay here making a fool of myself. Whatever reason you have for putting your marriage plan this very morning, when we are supposed to go and marry a wife for you, she will be remain with you. Since you are not willing to tell us anything. I am not okay. Hey! Well, I don't think there's any need for me to still remain here. Rubbish. See how wonderfully you're looking on this cap. Hmm? Let's keep on hoping. I believe there is nothing the gods cannot do. That's my belief in whatever I do. Is that not to be? That's him. He seems to believe me. Come, 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 come. Bosife, what is going on? He's not ready to talk. So there's no need for me to continue wasting my time. Ah, ah. Well, in that case, there is no need for us to be here. Our husbands are leaving. I think we should join them. Same here. I mean, what else are we here for? The child we are here to nurture is dead. Exactly. Are my husband's people here? How come I haven't been called? And why does it seem as if you're hiding something from me? Wait, that, that young woman from Umizora, what has she come to say? Please, I, I am bothered. Can you start talking to me, please? I, I don't even know what to say. No, don't give me that, for you definitely have something to say. Ma, stop talking now. Chukwo Kike. Onyekani, are you panicking because you saw speaking with that young woman from Umeziora? Eh? That young woman is my cousin. Ma. Ma, do you have a relative in Umeziora? Yes, now. My mother's sister is married there. And the young woman from Umeziora happens to be her daughter. Her parents were going for a burial. So they, they, they didn't want to take her along. They told her to stay with us until they returned from the trip. And how come I haven't met her? Hey! So you now know my family members, up, yeah? Right. But that does not explain why she was whispering. Why? Onyekani, do you ever let things go? But help me now. Eh? Take it easy with me. Today is supposed to be the happiest day of my life. I'm supposed to be getting married today. Things are not moving the way it's supposed to be. 
What do you expect? Okay, 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 fine, 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 it's enough. Since you want to know, the young man was telling us that she likes a man from this village. Why do I find it very difficult to believe you? Yes, I don't believe you. But you can you panic a lot. It's not like the young man from whom Zora was telling us that your husband has cancelled the marriage. It's not... Oh. Ma what did you just say now? Eh? <laughs> Look at this. Look at her face. You need to see yourself right about now. I was only joking. Hey! Koji do bigaka. Look at her. Hey! Ma, ma, listen, I'm not fine. I, I'm not fine at all. I'm having this strong feeling that Something is wrong. Everything is not all right. Don't tell me that. Mm, what you're experiencing is anxiety. And that is because you're getting married today. Uh. Yes. The reason I'm here. To make you take your mind off things. Mm. You've done well. <clears throat> About you and your lover. <laughs> Have you people tested the waters? Tested the waters? What do you mean? Have you people have you people gone down? Gone down where? Have you people jumped the bones? Bones? Which bones? Yeah. Okay, fine. Have you people danced the mystery dance? Hey. What are you talking? What dance? What mystery dance are you talking about? <laughs> Have you people done the you know, you know, you know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you're so, you're naughty. <laughs> what are you saying? It's not the love of my life. Give me that. Mm, that's good though. Yeah. Anyway, I'm coming and let me go and know what is happening there. Hmm? Well, I'll be back. I'll you. Thank you, you too. Hey! Is I wet, you know? No. I what more. If neither of you are going to tell her the truth, who will? Because it's not going to be me. <laughs> See, nobody is telling anybody nothing. Nothing at all. At least not now, now. Not now, please. Eventually, you would have to tell her, you know? Um, maybe. We are not saying that you're wrong. Hmm? The fact... Girls. Are you sure she's not been listening to us? What? 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 Yes, what? now. And the fact that we've been talking to a lady from Umezora makes it worse. Yeah. And that's my cue. It's time for me to go back to my village. My mission here is complete. Please, don't go yet, please. Please, we just need to find a way to tell Anna. You can't leave us now, please. You can't leave us. Is it still part of my business? Huh? Eh? Look, I did you a favor by bringing the news to you. Now it is left for you as her friends to find a way and break the news to her. I have to go. My mother will still start looking for me. Buche. Greetings. Greetings, Buche. Greetings. Am I forgetting something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, can me. Have you forgotten today's Ekelme Zora? Ring a bell. Goodness me. I totally forgot. Forgive me. Uh, my friends and I are supposed to be going to Ekelme Zora today. 
I'm so sorry. Let me go and get prepared. Sorry. It's okay. I'm going to get prepared. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No need to apologize. Man, no yeah. problem. Okay. Oh, love one thing to. Yes, um, sit down. Thank you. <laughs> she told us you proposed. Yes, I did. Good. I'm happy for both of you. Oh, thank you very much. So, when are you coming with your people? I mean, for the introduction. What are you looking at? You are so beautiful. What? Please pardon me. Are you just... No, I said I'm sorry. I just couldn't help myself. I'm, I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? Ma, I know I shouldn't be saying this, okay? I actually like you. I like you very much. From the very first day I, I, I set my eyes on you, though I was with Onyeka Ne on that day, I just couldn't get you off my mind. I have tried. I, I, I have not been able to get you off my mind. Is this a joke? You were staring at him all malicefully. Me? That's a lie. I did no such thing. What? I know there is nothing I will say that you will believe. But the truth is, Every day I step my feet on Umariam. I do so hoping that, you know, that I, 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 I can see you. I can see you and, and possibly tell you this. Are you insane? No, no, no. Ma, Ma, I am sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. I know this is not the best time or place, but I am tired. I am tired of pretending. Can I ask you a question? Ah, yes. Anything. Any question you want to ask me, just go ahead and ask. I will answer. If Onye Kanye wasn't in the picture, mm -hmm. he would be with me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Are you trying to say that you are prepared to leave her for me? Yes, that's exactly what I am saying. That's exactly what I have been saying. Wait a minute, Madiche. Is this why you called me out? When you can you please listen to me? Listen to what? What exactly are you saying? I mean, why are you saying it now? I thought you were all for Ebuche. Why the sudden change of mind? I have pondered over this for days before I made up my mind to tell you about it. You have to listen to me. You have to understand. Unfortunately, you are not making any sense to me. You are not. Okay, fine. Let me make it clear to you. My spirit is against him. Nikani is not genuine. Madiche. Madiche, what is wrong with you? First, it was my brother. And now, you? You of all people? Oh, Onyekane, please, please. Like I said earlier, you have to listen to what I'm saying. Oh. I am your friend and I cannot deceive you. Emuche is not good for you. The highest Emuche will do to you is to sleep with you and move on. He doesn't love you, at least not to last for a lifetime. Please don't tell me that. Don't tell me. What is all this? 
Ebuche is a playboy. He is an unrepentant Casanova. He is not good for any woman. Please. You don't have right to tell me who is good for me or who is not. I am going to pretend that this never happened and walk out of this place because of our friendship. Let it not ever happen again. Please. I mean, you have to listen to me. I, fine, you have to listen to me. Emuche is not good for you. I am talking to you as a friend. Oh. Madichi. Uma. <laughs> I was calling you since. Where did you go to? Go. Hmm. I've been thinking. Thinking about what? The fact that I have been proven right once again. I told Onyekani that Ebuchi doesn't love her at all. I told her that Ebuchi will hurt her. But she didn't listen. I kept drumming it into her ears. Oh, girlfriend, this is not the time to abortion blames now. The thing has already been done. Let's just find a way and settle these things now. See, um, Ma. What you're saying might be right. Don't quote me wrong. But Nene, your timing is totally wrong. See, tell her if this is how you choose to present this news to her, I will suggest you keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. That's Don't say truth. anything. Please, oh. But I told her. I told her. Ebuche, please tell me. Why are you doing this? Why did you have to cancel your marriage with Onye Kanne right on your marriage day? Why? I blame myself. I blame myself for the whole mess. But in truth, I did not plan it. I did not plan it. Just yesterday, I was with her. I bought her a set of beads because I wanted her to wear it today on her marriage day. I took it to her myself. Then, what, what, what happened? Where did it all go wrong? Oh, on my way back, I, I met someone. Hello, beautiful. Greetings. Greetings. If I may ask, where is a beautiful damsel headed by this time of the day? Thank the gods I met you. Actually, I am heading to Obubankwa. But it seems I missed my way. Wait. I think I misheard you. You're headed to Obubankwa. By this time of the day. Um. Yes. Why? Excuse me? Well, well I'm, I'm sorry. But if I may ask, if you don't mind me asking, I, 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 I sincerely do not mean to pry. But why is it? I mean, what caused a beautiful damsel like you to be heading to Obubakwa by this time of the day. So I might be a stranger to you, okay? But if you confide in me, I may just be of help to you. Like you rightfully said, that thank the gods that you met me. I don't understand. You've not heard. You don't know. Heard what? Know what? Okay, now let me ask you. What do you know about this place, Obubakwa? According to what I was told, it is just a place where I can lay my head for the night and continue with my journey tomorrow morning. Look, I don't even know you. And I don't know why you're asking me those strange questions about him. I am coming all the way from Aki to Umunsenam in search of a man who will solve my family's problems. Not oh. to answer your questions, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I said, I didn't leave Aki on time. Hence my arrival to Umuriam late. I was referred to go to Umuwankwa because I can get a place of 2,000 naira where I can just lay my head and continue with my journey tomorrow morning. 
That's why I'm going there. That animal that referred you to Ogbabonkwa, did that animal tell you what happened there? Did he tell you exactly why that place exists? Did he tell you what to expect when you get there? Did he? No. Okay, now let me tell you. It's a beautiful girl. That place is not a wonderful place. It is not a wonderful place for a beautiful dancer like you to be seen. It is not. What in the God's name are you trying to say? Wait. I am beginning to think that there is more to this place. In what you write. Now, let me do a little summary of what that place of Bubankwa is all about. Please do. Um, I'm all ears. All right. You see, in this whole town, in this whole town, if you are a husband and you come back home at night and you have a promiscuous wife and you don't find that woman at home, there's only one place you will find that woman. Obanka? Good. Now you're with me. And if you are a wife, you have a promiscuous husband and at night you find out that, that your husband is not on your matrimonial bed. That's only one place you will find that husband. Good, exactly. Now, you, you're a parent, okay? You're a parent. You have an unemployed daughter that spends, that lavishes money. And I mean, she cannot provide or, you know, tell you the means she makes that money. That's only one place that money is being made. Let me guess. Same Obubankwa? You see, initially we all thought that prostitution was, was meant for, for ladies, you know, selling their bodies. Until Obubankwa came to existence and proved us all wrong. You see, even men, men from this village and nearby communities go to that place to prostitute to. Sodom, which we thought was meant for the cities, now happens here in our local villages. I never knew such places existed here. Yes. You, you, you see, we were told that Obefi Ilurika brought this, you know, imported girls from Otolubo and brought them. They stay here and do what they call Akonakona. I mean, prostitution. Wait, Otulubo? Yes. That sounds like a village far away. Far, far in the north. It was believed that that was where he learned the business from. I, I don't have any way to go to. That, that means that I'm stranded. You see, a, a, a beautiful young damsel from Aki should not be seen in a place like that, okay? Instead, I, I, I have a spare room. I have a spare room in my house where you can spend the night and first thing in the morning, you can continue your journey peacefully. You, you, you will? You will? Yeah. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. May the God reward you. You say, you say. Thank you for the food. You know, any man who can offer food and drink to a woman who he just met for the very first time is the perfect definition of a gentleman. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm happy with your company. I lost my both parents long ago. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's been a long time now. So you've been staying alone? Um, actually, I was living here with my uncle until he built his own house. And ever since he has been drumming it in my ears that a man cannot be, you know, in a house alone. I hope you understand what I mean. Of course. <laughs> 
it means he's, he's expecting you to get married. Exactly. So, um, have you found out? Who? Come off it. For your uncle to say that, I am sure you know what he means. He simply wants you to get married. Or better still, I am sure you're seeing someone by now. So, where is she? What if I said... What if I said the person is sitting right here with me? What? You're extremely beautiful. The moons and the stars don't glow like your eyes. Akachua, you're extremely beautiful. Um, Ebuchi, you really need By the gods, you are captivating. Well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying this now. Probably you should be resting. Okay? Yeah? seen a woman like you. Me too. I have never seen a man like you. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead, my love. When I asked you if you found a woman to marry, you said Yes, I know what I said. And I am now convinced that I was right then. This is quite unlike me. Because I feel the same way. Really? What do you mean by really? 
Why do you think I gave myself to you? Or were you thinking I was sent by Obui Filirika to make you feel good? No, not at all. Not at all, my love. Even if nothing had happened, I won't think such of you, my love. I won't. Well, good. Because I... I have never done anything like this before. I know, Omolajam. I know you have never... I can't join. <sighs> my love. She left for Umuizianam this morning. But then, though she is gone, but it's like a part of her is with me. Since morning, I have been reflecting. Reflecting on the incredible, wonderful time we, we had last night. Yes, I, I, I just can't shake it off my system. I can't. She handled me. She handled me like no woman has ever handled me or will ever handle me. Obiago, I love this woman. I have to marry her. Ebuche, you're being extremely ridiculous. Let me, let me ask you something. What makes you think that this woman in question will want to be your wife? What makes you think that? Okay, let me tell you something. A woman who decided to spend the night in Ilurika's place is also an Akurakuna. Yes, a woman who could open herself for you on the first date. A woman who handled you. A woman who handled you the way you described. Without holding back. That woman is useless. Very useless. A useless woman from Aki. Who is sleeping around with whole men experience, get, gathering different kind of experiences. Don't even think of it. Don't even try it. I'm sorry. You better be. She's not that kind of girl. She was merely searching for Bumakwa. Looking for where to spend the night. And talking about she not wanting to marry me. Akantua already said it that she had decided to be my wife. Only if I agree, and that's it. And I love this woman, I want to make her my wife. Wait. What? Yes. See, see, I I I I know, but you see, I, I, I truly love this woman. And you're my friend. My best friend. That's why I'm telling you all this. I, I, I want you to help me because I cannot do this alone. I can't. You mean to say that you actually counseled your marriage with that amazing woman that we know for a strange woman that you don't even know? You're twisting it. You don't need to twist this whole thing. I, I, I know her. I know her. Mm. I know her. And despite anything, I you are my friend. Huh? I want you to come with me to Aki. I, 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 I want to go and look for Akantua and ask her hand in marriage. Please, I want you to be the man from this village that will go with me. Please. The woman you want to marry is in her father's house, waiting for you to come and pay her bride price. Are you going to seek for another woman's hand in marriage? Hey, God forbid if I should be part of that abomination. Ah, please don't do this. And hey, don't do this. If any man in this land, if any man with his right senses should take you to that trip, that disgusting trip. That man is not going to be Obiago. I would be that man. Do you understand? Do you know the kind of woman you want to marry? Do you know the kind of woman Oyekane is? Do you know? Do you know the... Okay, 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 wait. Let me now blow your mind. Do you know the caliber of men standing on line waiting for you to mess up so they will pick 
No, you can't. So they will grab her immediately. And you're here messing up, you're here wasting time. Yeah? Your marriage with her would, would have been long sealed and signed. You see, when you're here wasting your time, you should count yourself lucky that she finally chose to marry you. Now get out. Are you talking to me? Upiago. I said leave my house. Are you insane? What is wrong with you? Upiago, leave my house before I will do something I will leave to. Do you know what they say? People don't value what they have until they lose it. And another saying, people always like to eat sweet thing. And is that the same sweet thing that kills the body? Just go. Ponder on these words. Thank you. Just go. Go. Hey, Mr. Konamaka, just allow me to leave. Don't touch me. Go. Idiot. You people went, went to prepare as she be for me. Who told you? Who sent you people? Are you the ones going to get married? Blue and white. The worst colors. It seems as if it's your, you, you, you're, you're the one that is going to marry her. My own marriage to you. Choose color for me. My daughter, I see fears in your eyes. You are afraid that that same thing that has been happening to your family members will happen to you. Every member of your family has had their share in the dilemma. And you are afraid you are next. Yes. You are right, Ichi. I do not want to die. That is why I am here. You are Ichi Omachiani, the great man of Aki. Something in me tells me that you have the solution. You can help me with this particular problem. I can imagine a young woman as beautiful as you are suddenly running mad. Though, you are not drunk, but you are next. If nothing is done, it will happen. Ichi, please, what do I do? <clears throat> you are, your father killed a man from Umezanam. What? Oh, yes. How? When? The widow of that man reported the case to Odumiwele, the deity of Anam people, before she finally died. This is very serious. Yes. Serious indeed. You see, people may joke with anything they see, but they should not joke with deities. And if you want to survive this horror that is coming your way, you have to travel. You travel to Umezanam. When you reach there, ask of Anukeni. He is the only one that can solve your problem. The faster you go there, the better for you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, who are you? My name is Anadwaka. I was coming to give Anukeni a message and I overheard your discussion with him. If 
He does not want to help you. I know someone that can. What? Yes. See, someone that can give you a solution to your problem. See, this is much better than I'm okay. You have to travel. You travel to Umezanam. When you reach there, ask of Anukeni. He is the only one that can solve your problem. The faster you go there, the better for you. Thank you very much. But I do not need your help. See, are you listening to me at all? I see. The person will give you a solution to your problem. Yes, I am listening to you and I can hear you. But I do not need your help. And please, if you do not mind, I have a lot on my mind right now. You see, someone that can help you out. Tumba, 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 tumba. And this defying young woman, she thinks Anukin, you can help her. Nobody knows How are you? I'm fine. Uh, where is that friend of mine? He just stepped out. When? But where? Um, his uncle sent for him. But it's not been long he left. I'm sure he will soon come back. But why don't you stay back for lunch? I'm making something very nice. You'll like it. Uh, if you insist, who am I to say no? I insist. You'll like it. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. Uh, you're welcome. What? Um, a prince must not leave the house without his regalia. Yeah? <laughs> no, my prince. It's just that. You've I... not seen one do it before. Oh, come on. My prince, where are your guards? Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, look, truth is, I did not want anyone in the house to know where I was going. So I sneaked out of the house. I didn't even want any villager to notice me. Hence, my dressing up like this. <laughs> but most importantly, I wanted to see you. Who? Oh, me? Um, actually, I initially wanted to go to your house. But a good friend of mine told me you were here. Oh. So I came. Uh, okay, uh, you're welcome. Um, can uh, you come and sit? Let me help you with the food on fire. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, um, um my prince, I hope all is well. Yes, my dear. I just, um, I brought you a little something. Oh. I was with my grandmother yesterday when she took delivery of them. And you were the only one that came to my mind, so I was sort of telling her about you. So, about me? Yes, my dear. You see, I, I know this is not the right place or the right time either, but I really need to take my chances again. You see, I care so much about you, and I know you've made it clear to me that you don't want to be with me. But you were the only person that came to my mind as soon as I saw these beads. You see, I... I know you too well to know that you are a priceless jewel. A rare gem. You can't be replaced. I am ready to marry you here and now if you could say yes to me. <laughs> no, my prince. I mean, you're quite welcome. But I'm sorry. My heart yearns for someone else. It belongs to another. And has he proposed to you? Well, 
Not yet, but he, I... He doesn't know what he has. I'll be on my way now. I don't want to be missed at home. I really wish you'd have everything. Wait, my prince, wait. My prince, you were a good man. And I don't mean to reject your gift. And I equally don't mean to make you feel that I'm toying with you. Please, you, you, you have to take this alongside with you. The gods will give you a woman who truly deserves you. Please. You can give her this gift. I don't need it. Thank you. I hope he realizes what he has before it's too late. What else? He has come to do what every other young man except Ebuchi has refused to do. He, he came to ask for my hand in marriage. Oh. <laughs> Tell me something, Oviago. Is your friend Ebuchi ever going to make me his wife? Um. Onyegane, Ebuche might be my very best friend, and you've also been very dear to me. But I am going to tell you this, and who I'm talking about is somebody I know very well, Ebuche. Eh? You are a very good woman, and you deserve the best. And the question is this, do you take Ebuche as your best? If you do, then why don't you let him know your mind? I took his advice. And I did just that. Marriage, marriage, marriage. What is it with women and marriage? Huh? Okay. I will eventually marry you. Is that okay by you? What did you just say? Eventually. Okay. I'll, I'll marry you. Mm. <laughs> you stop. stop. See, just pray I don't change my mind. Though. Just pray. Look at you. Hmm. What did you just say? Come on, I was only kidding. No, this joke is expensive. I was just joking. Nah, it's okay. Mm. It's okay, huh? Everything somebody will beg you first. Oh, you have to beg me. Can I play with my heart for the song I sing? It came from my heart. Oh, Onyekane, please, please. Like I said earlier, you have to listen to what I'm saying. I am your friend and I cannot deceive you. Ebuche is not good for you. The highest Ebuche will do to you is to sleep with you and move on. He doesn't love you. Please. At least not to last for a lifetime. Cause I'm dancing in the rain in pain. Do you feel my heart? Dancing in the rain in pain. I am dancing in the rain in pain. Do you feel my heart? Dancing in the rain in pain. in the front of the elders and told them that I cannot be with the love of my life. You made them understand that the man, the only man your sister has ever loved is not suitable for her. What have I ever done to you, Ekunife? 
What? Are you gonna please? Please what? You're so selfish. You are self-centered. What is wrong with you? Okay, you don't like him. You have so many reservations about him. But I've chosen him for myself. Despite his shortcomings, his mistakes and faults, I have chosen him. And guess what? He chose me too. What is wrong with you? Do you think I don't have blemishes? Eh? Please, you have to listen to me. No, you listen to me. It is either you suck it up or you let us be. Oh yes, if that is what you want, I'm going to remain here in my father's house and become your wife. I'm just coming from Ichi Utondo's house. I have given him my consent to the marriage. What? Yes. Listen, you are my only sister. And I love you very much. And if you say Egbuche, is your happiness. Who am I? <coughs> I will not stand against it. <laughs> Something terrible must have gone wrong in Umo Ezera. And we are going to find out what it is. If only fair, I suggest we send delegates. They send delegates. You are right. Exactly, that is what I am thinking too. Who done a second? Is he not from Umeziora? Um, oh, we need to talk, please. What is going on? In private. Um, greetings, everyone. You're welcome. Please, in private, please. We need to talk. Did you see that? I, I I saw his face. I suspected Did something. Did you see the reaction on his face? What could be the problem? I would have known. <sighs> something is wrong. I think so, but we will find out eventually. We will find out. So. Um, please, you just calm down, okay? Don't get yourself. Walk down. Calm down. <sighs> Life is hard. But we do our best to live it. Sometimes it gets really tough. So tough that one would think that she is not tough enough to keep going through it. But that is the time that we should remind ourselves that the only valuable solution is getting through it. <laughs> 